Welcome again. Uh, we will now study our new topic, which is current transformer. It is normally called as a, in short form as a CT. Uh, a current transformer consists of a coil toroidally wound around a ferromagnetic core. The conductor for which the current is to be measured is passed through the center of the toroid. The magnetic field generated by the current through the conductor causes current to flow in the coil. In essence, a CT may be thought of as a conventional transformer with one prime T trunk. So, uh, I will explain the in next slide the detail of the, this definition. Uh, here you can see this uh, uh, picture of a CT, how CT look like in in NSOH gear. So, as we have uh, uh, already read the explanation of CT, you can see. This is the primary side of CT, which is basically a conductor. It, is, it will be treated as a single drone. And this is the secondary of CT, which have many uh, trunks, and, and in further it is connected to the emitter. Maybe it is connected to the relay or energy meter. So the current, current is passing through it. Flux is then cutting this core, and it is producing the secondary voltages and secondary current. Uh, this transformer is actually stepping the voltage up and it is uh, step downing the current. So if for example a, a, a CT has a turn ratio 100 by 1, if 100 ampere current is flowing in the primary side, at secondary side you will get 1 ampere. So the question is why you need CT in production systems, why you can't use directly to the relays and measuring equipment. The answer is, for example, if the primary current rating of a switch gear is 1600 ampere, then you have to design your all, sec um, uh, you have to put your meter in, in series and it will be uh, at the 1600 ampere rating, which is a very huge. Again, the size of the equipment will be very high and this primary side is, in MV switch gear is up, um, uh, 12 kV, for example, here. Insulation will to a low level will be 12 kV of that equipment, so it is very expensive. So it's uh, that's why the CTs were designed and and used. For example, if 0.5 current you will get here, uh, then in the display of ammeter it will be showing half voltages. For example, if rated voltage is 100, it will be showing 50 volts. So it is uh, easier to uh, for control and production monitoring to use CT. This is again the symbol of uh, CT circuit is shown here. Uh, how the CT circuit is shown in the drawing. This is the primary side. This is the secondary side. Uh, primary is marked as H1, H2. Secondary is marked as X1, X2. And it is going to the current coil. This is the direction of current coming in. And this is the direction of current coming out. Here you can see small dot is mentioned. Sometimes we are showing here dot. Uh, to show the polarity of CT. Uh, what does it mean if current enters through this dot then it will be primary current then it will be leaving to the that same point. So current is coming and it is leaving here. If dot is here the current will be its current is leaving here then it is uh, it will also enter into this it's a vice versa. So